since that's three and she has no value. <laughs> Rude. Not worthless. Priceless. Welcome and welcome back everybody. TT Toki here. And in today's video, we'll be doing a solo playthrough of the Royal Limited, a Scott Alms solo game published by Button Shy Games. During the course of the playthrough, I'll give a tutorial about how the game is played and be sure you stick around for the end of the video where I'll share my thoughts about the game in general. A huge shout out to Button Shy for just sending me a copy, surprise mail. But without further ado, let's get started. Here is a game of the Royal Limited set up and ready to play. Over the course of the game, we are going to be creating a train car and stocking it with passengers. The goal of our game is to play all of our cards, including our two VIPs. If we are able to get all of our cards played, then we've won the game. For setup, you're gonna start by shuffling up all of the cards, all of the train cards, and dealing yourself a hand of five. You'll select two VIPs randomly and place the train departed card with the green clock facing up. On your turn, you can do a number of different things provided that you have cards in your hand available. You can play a train car. In order to do so, you're going to make sure that the number and color do not match the previously played card. So your first card can be any cards that you choose. The number on the card indicates how many other cards you're going to have to discard from your hand in order to play the train car. Another action you can do is board a passenger. In order to do so, there is no cost of discarding cards, but either the color or number has to match. When you do so, you'll tuck it underneath and then do the action listed on the card. Some of the cards will have an action that says next. If you are unable to do so, then regardless of whatever cards you have in front of you, you'll have to move on to the next round. Once you've done as many actions as you want to with your current hand, you'll discard the rest of the cards and redraw five new ones. Anytime your deck runs out, it's going to start a new round. And as you can see, we'll time down twice before it says train departed, at which point the game will be over and we'll see if we were successful in creating a full set of train cars with passengers. Additionally, at any time you can play one of your two VIPs provided that their conditions are met. So to start things off, we have some high valued cards here. We could do the zero to kick things off and then we could put a three in there for no cost. So I think we're going to do that. And it says next place a passenger card such that the two cards have a total value of three. So I would have to place something here that would help us get a three. Um. I could potentially place this yellow three, but then these would all be discarded, which isn't great. Um, so we might have to hold off on that. Our Heyoon wants to be placed between two even valued passengers. Zeros are included in that. And this one says the train must have at least three cars placed in the highest valued unoccupied car. So we could potentially put her here if we wanted to do that. Um, so I think we'll place this three since it matches in neither color nor number. These three are going to be our discards in order to do that. And then we're gonna redraw our hand of five cards here. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So once we have three train cars, then we can put B Carter. Oh, she would actually go here. Hmm. So we can't place any of these blues in the next one. Is there anything good here? Reveal the top card of the deck, place it as a passenger. Turn the top card of a discard pile to your hand. That might be really good. So let's play this one. Um, and we will get rid of this yellow two so that hopefully we can get that back. Um, we can do this. We want even numbers played, um, but we want this zero as part of our train car, I think. So choose an adjacent car. Mm -hmm. We'll go ahead and play this one. Mm -hmm. Mm, that's tricky. So instead of discarding this, I think what we'll do is we will discard, um, we want to play this here to get an even number. We want even numbers. Those are really good. So we'll discard this one, place this here and it says turn, return the top card of the discard pile back to your hand. I think we want to play this zero train car and is there a way we can get an even valued passenger here? Not quite. So we could play this here and then play Kayun here. We can also play B Carter here. So I think we will go ahead and play this one here. And then we can play this one red by discarding this. So these a little bit here and we draw five. So this is um, the last of our deck. We get two and then we're gonna shuffle them up. And as you can see, there are very few cards left. 
So we're going to really have to kick it into high gear. There's only one card left in our draw pile. Okay. So what was the plan? Something. We have to get an even number here, I think. So we'll put the zero so that we can play Heyoon. Um, oh, place a passenger in the car such that the value of the two cards have a total value of 50. So because she has no value, I'm going to say that that is fulfilled. Um, actually, so that they have a total value of three. So we can do, oh no, so we can place Kayun here. And she doesn't have a determined value. And for B Carter, we have to put them in the highest valued unoccupied car, which at this point is this one. We will place her there and then we have a bunch of stuff happening which is not great i think if we place this one we can get rid of the three um and then we can place the two blue here unfortunately there's nothing we can really do with this oh sorry i totally forgot to do the effect so it says move a passenger to another car matching color or value and trigger that new car's effect um oh so we can move this zero to this zero place a card from your hand on the bottom of the deck mm, not great we'll put the um we'll put the one for flexibility i guess and then actually probably the the one okay and then here we have a zero so we can place this three um place the passenger in a car such that the values have three that's not gonna happen so we're actually gonna x calm that real quick we're going to put this two at the bottom, discard the three so we can place the one. And then we are going to place this three here. We don't have any, so that's actually going to end the round, um, which is fine because it was about to end anyway. And we only have three cards left to work with and two rounds. Oh no, that's not good. We have to play one of these, so I think we have to play this. Oh, we're not going to be able to do it. We're going to have to play this two, um, and then we end the round, and then we have these left. So we can play the two here. Ignoring colors, place a passenger in a car with a lower value than a passenger. Oh, baby, there we go. So one is lower than three, so we're able to place that. We have played all of our cards just in time as the train is about to depart. So there you have it. That is a solo playthrough of the Royal Limited. This is a very compact, a very tight, puzzly game. The one consideration I would say is if you are looking for a micro game that feels like a fully fledged game, this one might not be it. It's a very quick unique puzzle, but it does feel pretty micro. For some people, that might be a huge benefit. For me, I love it. This is a game that I can see myself pulling out on a quick break, bringing with me if I need to wait somewhere for a small amount of time for something, because although it is very limited in its components and in terms of the number of rounds and things like that, it packs a lot of punch in a very small amount of time and a very small amount of turns. Really have to be cognizant of which cards you're putting together and placing at what times, of how many cards you're discarding, of trying to get those two objectives in. Do you get them in early? Do you get them in later? It's very, very compact. If you want something that's really small and dense and puzzly and challenging, Royal Limited is definitely for you. If you're looking for something a little larger, like I said, that might be not even a criticism, but a consideration. If you're looking for something that feels a little bit broader. I really enjoyed this game. Again, it's going to be absolutely one of my pocket games that I can bring with me anywhere and just whip out and do a quick solo playthrough of and get in the zone. If that sounds good to you, be sure to check out the Royal Limited from Button Shy Game. And that's all the time we have for today. If you found this video helpful or enjoyed it, please feel free to click a thumbs up. And if you want to see more games like this or other solo games and other fun board game tabletop type things, please feel free to subscribe down below if you haven't already. Thank you as always for joining me and I'll see you next time. Bye.